Welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. This is a teaser or a prelude to an upcoming premiere video that I'll be doing of culling. In order to get high quality shabumpkins like this, it takes years and lots and lots of culling of various spawns. Now culling itself, well, it needs to be done. See there's some have deformities which would be naturally eaten in the wild or in your pond and some that you want to be known for in my case I really like uh, elongated tails that being the veiled tail and almost all of my breeding shabumpkins have very long tails I also want to be known for uh, very high quality colors I've been working on that over the last few years last year I really enhanced my blues this year what I'm going for is to enhance the reds and to make sure the whites are really nice and clear. I've made sure that the ones that I'm going to keep are, well, they've got uh, all those qualities, including still keeping the blues and, of course, my trademark long tail or veal tail, single tailed shabumpkins. Now, it's important to take a look from up above because. Well, if they're in your pond, that's how you're going to see them. It's also important to have a, a look from the, the front view or the side view, however you want to call it, uh, to see w how deep that color is and how much it wraps around. Because lots of people will be buying them, will not have them just in ponds, but they'll also have them in fish tanks. And how you get these qualities is years and years of breeding and of course culling. I'll be taking you through the process of how I cull, what I do with them, and what I'm looking for. Now obviously with these ones, these are the ones that I believe that I'm going to keep to grow out this year. There's a definite, uh, well I'd say almost a koi like presence in some of them where they're similar to Sankey or Showa being a three colored pattern. Uh, of red, white, and blacks. And then I've got some other ones with the stronger blue and some black in them. Uh, I, I think I will keep the vast majority and they will all go to the, the grow out pond. But again, you'll have to wait and find out in the upcoming video. I really am impressed with these uh, little shabunkins. They're not huge by any standards yet, but once these guys get to a larger tank, I'll be really able to pound the feed to them, and you'll really notice a significant significant change in them. I will also be taking you through one of my, or at least two of my uh, fry tanks, and you can see how many fry I have to go through, and I'll have to take a really close look at them to see which ones I'm going to keep for a few more months and which ones I'm going to keep uh, for even longer. A lot of these, well, almost all of them, will be sold off uh, this spring or this summer. These are what I would call pond grade. The ones in behind, I've already uh, called, but there's a couple that I kept just because I didn't know where the patterns or if the uh, colors were going to come out of that translucent. And I'm glad I did because there's a couple that I'm going to be able to keep uh, for sale later. But the vast majority of these guys will be moved on to uh, a pet store. These have, you know, are some of the breeders that I'll be using this coming spring along with my uh, main ones. Well, make sure you stay tuned. And keep an eye out for the premiere of Culling 101. I think you'll find it interesting and enjoyable. See you soon.